Hello guys, this is Maxwell Covington, and today I'm going to be showing off the multiplayer campaign I started for Company Heroes 2. Alright, basically how everything works is, you play Company Heroes 2 battles, but there's a catch. Alright, so the red team is the Russians, the gray team is the Germans, and the green team is the United States and the United Kingdom, or England, and they don't come into round... And they don't, they don't come into play until round two. Well, anyways, is what I what I did is I got a blank Europe map, drew a whole bunch of lines in it to make up some territories. You know, looks pretty cool. I mean, some of them aren't the best, especially all of these with little holes in them, and all that. But then I put a bunch of maps in them to represent. I tried to represent where they were, like I put. Rostov down there, I think it's down there, Stalingrad, Moscow, it's supposed to be Leningrad, and basically each each team has one week to attack, so the first round was Germans, they attacked Langreska, Sector 29, Kloody Firma, I don't know how to pronounce that, 30, Rails Middle, 31, and Minsk, Minsk Pocket, 32. I participated in these two of these 2v2s because our rules say we can participate in two battles per turn, but only one versus one versus one. So anyways, we ended up winning those two. I wasn't planning on the second one, but I had to. Then Caldoni Firma, we also defended, but Langreska was took by the Germans. So this becomes gray like this I mean it doesn't look the best but the red outline means you know there's a lot of bloodshed in that battle which there kind of was all right so sorry about these little black smudges you know I don't it happened when I was making the map and there wasn't really a way for me to undo it since I had gone so far before noticing it because I was zoomed in making this map but anyways, each each turn it lasts two weeks with the Germans attacking first and then the Allies attacking second. So the first turn is halfway over since the Germans attacked. And then coming up this week, the Rus the Soviets will get to attack, hopefully take back Langreska and some German territory. <coughs> and then turn two, the Germans can counterattack again. But then once it's the Allies' turn, they can launch D-Day. And and still attack on the Soviet in, Soviet Eastern Front, but they have to attack either point one or two. I mean, they, I mean they can attack both, but that's supposed to represent like the Battle D-Day or Normandy, whichever you want to call it. Anyways, if say they attack here, attack here, and they lose both of them, then nobody gets to play as the United States or United Kingdom. So let's just hope that doesn't happen. And I'll be keeping you guys updated on this war map. And I have Steam Form. Groups. Company of Heroes 2, the Second Great War. It's a public group. So if you guys want to join, just come in. And as long as you're not a pro, we'll let you join. And we've got discussions. All sorts of discussions. You can only see some of them until you, once you join. Just go to sign ups. Sign up, put your player name, preferred army, and favorite map like this. My name is Maxco4. Favorite map is Rails of Metal, which I got to play on in one. And my preferred army is the Soviets. I actually prefer the Germans, but I'm playing the Soviets. And we got plenty of people to sign up. Some people left, sadly. And some people have had complications to get in touch with them. But this is our tur the tournament, and we're looking forward to having more players and just letting it be a fun community event. And now you can enjoy some gameplay from the tournament so far. I hope you enjoy. Please like and subscribe.